All right, y'all. Apple just dropped a brand new preview app on iPhone with iOS 26 update. And it's kind of like the one you already know from macOS. You can scan docs, edit them, merge them, change paper size and share all from one spot. Super chill. So let's dive in. First thing, open up the preview app on your iPhone. It comes pre-installed with the iOS 26 update. My phone's rocking the iOS 26 beta right now. Once you're on the home screen of the preview app, tap that little scan document icon. Now by default, it's set to auto. That means your iPhone's camera is gonna snap the pic automatically when it sees the document in view. But if you got auto shutter turned off, it switches to manual and you'll have to hit the shutter button yourself to grab the shot. Next to that, you'll see options to change up the dot color. You can choose between color, grayscale, black and white, or photo mode. I'll mess with these later to see which one looks best before saving it as a PDF. Then there's the flashlight option next to the color settings. If you're in a dark spot, this helps brighten things up. On auto, the flash kicks in by itself when it's too dim. But yeah, you can flip it on or off manually too. Just set it how you want before scanning. All right, now let's run through a real example. I'm gonna scan a two-pager. So I scan the first page and boom, you'll see a little thumbnail show up in the bottom left corner. Tap it to jump into editing mode. You can adjust or clean up those edge cutouts like this. Once it's looking solid, hit done to save the changes. Want to switch up the color? You got all your color mode options right there. Need to spin the image? Tap rotate photo and it'll turn it clockwise. After editing, tap a little check mark in the top left to save all the changes. Now go ahead and scan that second page. When you're done, you'll see both pages down at the bottom. Looks pretty sweet. Messed up one page? No stress. Tap retake and you can rescan just that page. You can also edit or delete individual pages from right there. Easy peasy. Once you're done, tap save to make a PDF file. It'll be saved inside the preview app and you can find it later in the files app too. Before closing out, you'll see an option to rename the doc. Just tap that little down arrow at the top center, hit rename, type in the name you want, and you're good. Now, if you want to merge this with another doc that's in A4 size, you'll need to switch the page size first. By default, iPhone scans in US letter. You can double check that by peeping the file info. To switch to A4, tap the share button down at the bottom right, then pick print from the share sheet. Here you'll see the paper size, just change that from US letter to A4. Then tap that share icon again and pick save to files. Easy. Choose where you want to save it in the files app. It'll show up in preview too. Tap done, and now it's saved in A4 format. You can check that under file info to make sure it's all good. So yeah, that's a dope new way to scan docs using the preview app on your iPhone. If you got any questions, hit me in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more free tech tips coming your way.